getting back to what I was trying to say, how am I playing this game? You may be thinking I'm playing the game on an emulator or something. Well, in all actuality, I am not doing that at all. Instead, I'm using a device known as a Nintendo 3DS Capture Board. The 3DS Capture Board can be made by one of two people. The first person is known as... It begins with a K, I think it's Katuski or something like that. And the second person, who is the person who I bought the capture board from, is known as Loopy. The first person with the K, they're based in Japan, and Loopy's based here in the United States. Hell, he's even in Utah. I know. I looked up that kind of information. So yes, I'm using Loopy's capture board just because it was cheaper for one, two, it was based here in the United States, and three, better customer experience, and overall better customer satisfaction. Sure, the capture board cost me practically an arm and a leg. I mean, when uh, 3DS was still being produced, the original model, it cost me over $400 for the board and the 3DS itself because it was brand new. Since the regular 3DS is no longer in production, and what the hell is going on? Oh, crap. Who the hell is this guy think he is? Or it's a woman, I don't know. Yes, it's a boy, and it has a Cyndaquil. As we all know, Fire-type Pokémon are super effective against Grass-types. And if it used the Fire-type move right now... <laughs> Shut up, kid. I'm taking you to school. The school of Falcon Paunch. <laughs> Dirty number. Alright, level 10. Level 10. Just the way I like it. Yes, I am. Quite happy. Hmm. Earned 500 Poke Dollars for winning, so I got my money back from the po antidotes I bought earlier. Seriously, what is your name? <laughs> okay. Is this the biggest pile of coincidence ever, or what? Maybe it's because I named my character Silver, and that passenger boy is also named Silver. I was thinking I would be able to name my rival this time around, but it turns out I can't. Well, dang it. Well, there went that joke. I was thinking of making the rival either Blaze or Sonic, depending on the sex. But, uh, whatever. I can still make things work. Hmm. Uh, no, I'm not the one who did it, you dumb goof. Hmm, funny, we just went past that, uh, we just went past that boy too. Oh, okay, we can now name him. And, yes, the boy... I think his default name is Silver. So, for this case, for this playthrough, I'm going to name him... Sonic. As in Sonic the Hedgehog. The Iblis Trigger. The one who is like, uh... Yeah, his name is Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. So in essence, we're making Silver the good guy here. Even though he's been good all along. Well, dang it, I just spoil spoiled some of Sonic 06's plot. If there is any. <laughs> well then, the joke is alive after all. Good to know. Here you go, here's the egg.
Cool. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Pokemon Gym Challenge? Hmm. Violet City's Gym. That sounds like fun! Alright. Let's do that. And wow, I've been going on for over 30 minutes. Whatever. Multiple videos and one recording session. That's what that's the way I like to roll. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, sure. Hmm. Wonder what saving money actually does. Let's look at my ID card. Hmm. Got three thousand Poke Dollars. <clears throat> Still got quite a ways to go. It looks like this time around there are eight gym leaders. I think that was the same as uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, but don't quote me on that. Hey, what up? Um, yeah, I kind of already knew that. I'm a veteran of this series, after all. <laughs> I know how to catch Pokemon. Hopefully, this won't end up triggering the whole missing no thing. I know about missing no. I've done my research. And I've also heard of it too, missing no. Does it appear in other Pokemon games? I think it does, but can only be summoned. It can only be summoned via Game Shark or whatever action replay. We now know how uh, catching Pokemon works. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just knock down the enemy's HP down to critical mass, and then throw a Pokeball at it. Simple as that. Mhm. Mm Paralyzing it, making it fall asleep, it also helps tremendously too at catching Pokemon. You're gonna want to learn these techniques as much as you can. Especially when it comes to attaining shinies. Also, thanks for the Pokeballs. I needed Pokeballs. I want to add new members to the team. Add new members to the cause. Have more fun. Do some awesome things. Hmm. Level 2 Sentry. Eh. Screw you. I'm going to kill you. Probably going to catch the next Pokemon I see. Have to wait and see. Bye bye. Okay, next. Hmm, Pidgey. It's a female Pidgey, it's level two. Screw it, I'll just catch it. Let's go ahead and tackle you. Deal some damage. That should be good. Pokeballs. Here you go. Yes, there we go. Call the Pidgey. So now the Pidgey is a part of our team. And its data was sent added to the Pokedex. Given a nickname? No. Reason? I don't feel like nicknaming my Pokemon. 
It's the way I've always been. I like keeping their names. And the story. Hmm, another Pidgey. One thing I will do before I head back to where I came, back to Mr. Pokemon's house, or wherever I need to go. Oh wait, I need to go to the Violet City Gym. That's where I need to go to next. <laughs> Whoops, there I go not paying attention again. Oh well, what can I do? Alright, let's see if I can rearrange my Pokemon. Switch. There we go. Changing your Pokemon order will determine which Pokemon gets summoned onto the field as soon as the battle starts. In this case, since I swapped positions between Chikorita and, Pit and P my Pidgey, it also swapped out uh, which Pokemon follows me. That's interesting to know. I did not know that. But anyways, the Pokemon that's on the top of the list, they're the ones who get summoned first. You can change Pokemon during the fight at any time, if you really want to. And also, whenever a Pokemon faints, you have to change Pokemon. And if you run out of Pokemon, then you black out. And from what I've heard and what I've witnessed myself during my previous playthrough of uh, Pokemon Red, if you black out, then you lose half of the Poke Dollars that you have in your possession. And that really, really sucks. Alright, time to change. Good job, Pidgey. Way to get it down. Now it's time for Chikorita to pop in and finish it off. One thing I will mention too, if you happen to get multiple Pokemon involved in the uh, Pokemon battles, so long as they're still standing and they're not fainted for the fight, then, uh, then the experience is divided. And uh, how is the experience divided? I'm going to say it's divided evenly. So if two Pokemon happen to fight a single target, then uh, the one that scores the kill gets the experience first. So let's say, for example, I earn 14 experience. That experience is then divided into two, the two who have participated in the fight. And that's that. Also called a Rattata. Why? Because I'm a sucker for rats. Well, rats. Also, it's always good to add different Pokemon to your Pokemon team. Doesn't matter who they are, what they are, who cares. Rattata, from what I've experienced and from what I've used of it, hasn't really served me that great, but uh, it's something at the very least. Alright, time to get to work. Yes, caught it. Good to know. That's three new Pokemon added to our team already. Any Pokemon trainer will know that you can only carry up to six Pokemon through for pretty much your entire team. Also, that strobe effect. Hmm, poison faded away. Interesting. As I was saying, that strobe effect, what is that? It means that a Pokemon's been poisoned. Unlike Pokemon Red when the screen actually flashed a bit, this time the screen just, uh, it gives you that strobe effect of sorts. 
Okay. All right. Good to know everyone is back up on their feet again. Also, I had no idea that Pokemon can fight off poison so freaking easily. Let's see. I'm going to switch you. And I'm going to put Chikorita towards the bottom of the roster. Reason? Because I want to work on uh, getting some of my lower tier Pokemon up to speed first. Jeez. 37 freaking minutes and I still got uh, plenty of things to do. Still got places to go. Also, you, you must be new. What do you have? Air mail and heal balls. Oh, okay. Let's see. I want five of these. Please and thank you. Heal balls. What they do, they heal all Pokemon that you happen to catch with it. And also regular Pokeballs are now being sold here. Cool. Let's see, I have two regular Pokeballs left. Let's put in three more, and that'll be good. So, in the Generation 2, I don't know if the different Pokeballs actually made an appearance in this game starting in Generation 2 or not. I feel like they do, then again, I feel like they started making their appearances in the third generation. Could be wrong about that. the Weedle. Oh boy. Weedle was one of my first uh, Pokemon that I've ever caught during uh, Pokemon Red. And uh, people probably yelled at me about uh, catching a Weedle and using it too during my original playthrough, but uh, Weedle turned out to be pretty useful because of the fact that it later evolved into, uh, into Beedrill. Which is one of my best Pokemon that I've ever used. Thank god the poison faded away. Maybe the poison only fades away once a Pokemon's HP reaches 1. So the poison can't make your Pokemon faint. At least, uh, I think that's how it is in Generation 2. Don't quote me on that though. One other thing I will point out too is that I am a freaking healing freak. I am dead serious. I, I'm a bit of a spaz when it comes to healing. I heal practically all the freaking time. So I do a lot of backtracking, deal with it, game over. Whew, there we go. Finally. Excellent. Instant level up. 